We spoke with two Puerto Ricans about the aid money. Ed Cruz, who lives in Guanica now, but has also lived in Orlando. Why you waited three years? We have so many people that suffer, and they suffered heavily. Um, you know, my mom was a healthy person on September 19 of 2017. And six months later, she passed away. Jimmy Torres is with the Orlando area organization Boricua Vota that encourages Hispanics to vote. Both are concerned about the timing of the Trump administration's announcement of billions to help the island with Hurricane Maria's damage. We are 46 days away from the election, and now he just discovered that the people of Puerto Rico need that money. $13 billion to permanently repair and replace thousands of miles of transmission and distribution lines at should have been done many years ago. We've done more for Puerto Rico than anybody, and this is just an example of it. The push for aid to Puerto Rico has certainly been contentious. Now, back in 2018, when referring to, quote, inept politicians, the president said in a tweet, the U.S. will not bail out long, outstanding, and unpaid obligations with hurricane relief money. In January of this year, money that had been on hold for months was released by HUD, stating additional oversight was needed. President Trump at one point said Puerto Rico is one of the most corrupt places on earth. Do you agree with him? I am like a thousand percent in agreement with, uh, with Donald Trump. I disagree with most of his policies and his politics. Timing aside, in that same breath, Cruz is cautiously optimistic this new money will be used correctly. His hope that it will. Right now, you have people in Puerto Rico who are still living, you know, on the blue tarps three years later. In an island that is fighting to recover. That the politicians and the ones that are running the government are going to use it in order to help the people that need it the most. Reporting in Orlando, Paul Rivera, West 2 News. <laughs>